Welcome to Obsessed Garage. What you're looking at here, everything laid out on the countertop here, is 25 years of my pursuit, my obsession. I'm obsessed with products and what I call functional excellence. So what I'm doing, and this is an idea a buddy of mine gave me, I don't know why I never came up with it, but it's a genius idea, in that I'm gonna give somebody a version of my garage with flooring, lighting, lift, cabinets, 20 plus drawers of uh, Sonic tools, uh, every single detailing product that I use in my, in my process, and I'm gonna give it to somebody, I'm gonna fly to their house, uh, and we're gonna install it together and make their version of an obsessed garage. We're gonna choose colors, choose cabinets, choose uh, lighting, choose to make it just like mine. So go to obsessedgarage.com, click on the banner image. It'll take you to how to win. You gotta buy some shirts or some hats or become a member of my, uh, my personal inside the, inside the Hex membership program. And that'll give you a chance to win a garage just like mine. What are you doing, Matt? All right, is it fogging up on you? Right. The back screen. So this is how you would clean a car capsule showcase that you use outside when you're not supposed to use it outside, but I'm doing it anyway. So a lot of people always have questions about putting this in their front yard. You need some sort of covering for the showcase. The showcase is not designed to be used outside. So I use this in my pole barn, largely for my GG3, so that I keep those mice and crap out. Even though a mouse or a rat could chew right through this in a second, at least you know there's something in there. So, it's been outside in the Florida funk. I think if you lived up north or somewhere where it wasn't so darn funky, or you have all this mold and all kinds of weird crap that grows in Florida, then you could do, you could do this and use it as long as it's under some sort of pole barn or some sort of covering carport, you could use it outside. They do make an outdoor showcase now, it's just a lot, it's a lot more money. It's taller, so it doesn't fit in my walk thing. So what we're doing now is I'm doing, I foamed it with Dawn, and then we just used some uh, brooms, and we're able to clean it up. So I'm cleaning it up to sell it, if somebody wants it. I could have just cleaned it up for myself, but I needed to buy a new one for demonstration purposes to shoot video of, since I'm a dealer for these now, and so, I figured I might as well uh, just put my put a new one out in my wash bay and then sell the old one instead of doing it the other way around. So this thing will, it'll likely clean up like really nicely, and I've never cleaned the bottom, so I'm just getting all the that Florida bunk that kind of grows on everything off of here. And then we're gonna blow it up and clean it off. Have some fun. No, the bottom is way worse. Whew. We're gonna foam it down with some uh, Dawn, and this sucker will look brand new. Here we go. Bubble. Inflate. Give me that power cord. Please. I'm going to clean all this up. We're going to blow out the inside as well. So this fan will blow up the exterior. It's funky in there. Okay, now time to clean it off. How did it get so hot? off for one day. Too 
too long there. It has to kind of blow back up. I have a hundred foot hose. See, this was the side that was inside underneath the roof. This is why I take the bubble and uh, blow it up with the uh, little computer fan because now it's pushing out against us. will help when I'm cleaning it with a broom. Alright, let's go. I guess I'm gonna have to just clean out the inside too. <laughs> yeah, so that pinch will go away after a little bit of time. once in a hard to tell because someone's on the inside, but I think it's cleaning right up. Can get that little leak fix. There's a leak right here. Oh, is there? You can hear it whistling. Got a wasp right behind you, Ken. Oh, he's right behind you. Something, wasp -er. Holy cow, this thing looks like brand new. Some halo on there, yeah. <laughs> everything slick, the hose doesn't get all hung up. So you think you put a for sale sign out at Lady Lake, you think they'll uh yeah, I just put a for sale sign right on the bubble as it's sitting there. <laughs> yeah, well, they're going to think it's like it's blazing light. I'll give you uh, 80 bucks for it. <laughs> this is going to be your new washing technique for your car, Kyle, okay? That's it. Brush. Yep, Don with a brush. That's the way to do it. I think my neighbors do that. I'm going to sell this for 400 bucks and we're going to spend $600 on labor just to get it done. Doesn't seem like a good value prop to me. I think I'll sell it for seven. 
Let's see how clean it comes out. Get a nice driveway cleansing while we're at it. So now, I never washed out the inside. I did it by hand before, but it's a little too funky to do that. So I think we'll open up the three sides and then we'll do the three sides last. Alright, going in. If I don't come out alive. Zip them up and ship it out. <laughs> Hold me up and I have to go home and shower after this because this is about to get all over me. This is the foam party you always wanted, Matt. Listen. Title of this video, Mormon hosts a uh, inflatable foam party. Oh. Frank, you dropped your hat. Oh no. Put your hat on there. Oh no. A little wet. Yeah, I got it. Ashley, can you zip up your thighs? Rice, zip me in. Bring me, uh, open up one of the sides so we don't die. <laughs> I got a hole in the back. <laughs> oh boy, you don't know what you're doing. Uh oh, what happened? I zipped it like a zipper and it. Why do you have a zipper down here? Why do you have two of them? This glorious video. Can you get me some EDM finish before and afters? <laughs> Cleaning the world's dirtiest car capsule. Now I'm getting smarter. It's all standing underneath it. Keep it out front. <laughs> right, zipper challenge. Yeah. How do I even get my pants on in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Got it. I was wondering why you came to work with your zipper down all the time. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dead lizard. Oh no. He didn't make it. He didn't make it through the dome? No. All right. We'll go back in. We'll clean this part and then we'll close the side. You gotta pull me this way a little bit. Which way? <laughs> Bottle water. There you go. I think this is how you get Legionnaire's disease. <laughs> uh. <laughs>
the sun take care of the rest. <laughs> huh? So let the sun take care of the rest. Yeah. Let the sun grow some new mold. <laughs> Uh, here. All right, so that's a wrap on the old car capsule. Looks pretty clean for being almost three years old, sitting outside. So notice that crease kind of worked itself out. It'll work itself out a little more. I cleaned up the the pump, got that all put back together and assembled. And then uh, we've got a, we got a leak on the seam here, which is, the seams are really easily fixable. So i got a leak there i got to fix. I've got a leak on the original leak I've got to fix. It's a little tiny slow leak right here. And there's a little one here. It sounds like it may have sealed up. But other than that, the thing's, thing looks pretty good. It's just a fun little project to get this restored. Once it all dries out, all that discoloration will, some of it will, will kind of dissipate. That's just, I think, sun bleaching. Yeah, it looks nice. Fun little project. I bet you by the time you watch this video, this will probably be sold, but if you want a slightly used showcase at 50% off that's been cleaned by yours truly let me know thanks for watching stay tuned for more crazy i think that's an appropriate saying for this one catch you on the next one